and welcome back to Let's Play Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Alright, so right now we're waiting for our rice to finish. Uh, it should be finished by tomorrow, because we're already in the sprouting phase. So while we're waiting, I'm going to go out exploring. Actually, wait, before we go out, let me check one thing real quick. Can I craft anything new? Want me to make something? We could get ourselves... Oh, wait, that's right. I'm trying to find one more piece of high-quality oak so I can upgrade my uh, spade. And I would love to find more iron, but right now there's not really any good spots where iron likes to spawn, so... We're gonna have to wait on that one. Alright. But yeah, before we go, let me just double-check the water level of the rice. It looks... Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me add a little bit more water. I think it's hot out right now. Yeah, it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Let's add a little bit of water so that doesn't dry out while we're gone. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, so I want to wait until we get another level before we head to the uh, Forest of Supplication and to the Beast Spring, because right now the bosses there will just destroy us. I guess while we're waiting, are there any other objectives we can do? I... I think I'm going to do that one later. Ooh, actually, you know what? I think the farming spots have respawned. Let me see if I can find myself some high-quality oak. No, fawn leaves. There should be more spots, though. Oh god, don't make me fawn the spikes. Oh, there we go. Ooh, we also unlocked new gathering area. So gathering areas are places where we can send the villagers, well, I keep on the villagers, where we can send the other folks over to uh, during the day. Unfortunately, we can't go there ourselves, but you know what, that's fine. Anyways, we're done here. Yep, there we go. Nice. Yeah, we can't go into the forest ourselves. Maybe tomorrow we'll send one of the other people there. Uh, while we're waiting, let me see if I can find myself some more high quality oak then. If I can get enough, maybe we can get ourselves... Eh, wait. No, never mind. I don't want to get both upgrades. I just remembered both upgrades are two-handed weapons. I kind of just want the stronger one at this point. Alright, what do we got here? I think we got one piece of high-quality oak. Yeah, we did. Nice. And more fun leaves. Oh, I think I can also make myself a new hat now. One second, I'm going to head home real quick. I guess we're already done for the day anyways. Let me go see if I can make myself a new hat as well. Should I make something good? Ooh, I can. Nice. So, vitality gain by 5% in summer, which it is right now. And more experience from farm work. You know what? I'll take that. Give me some space. It's always good to have more experience from farm work, because that's how you uh, learn new farming skills, which are very, very good in this game. So I just want to make sure I get as much farming skill as I can. Want me to also, make now something? I can make the Oak and Spade. There we go. Give me that. Leave it to me. Let's put that on before I forget. Oh, also, what skills can I put on there? I guess health boost? Actually, wait, hold on a second. What do I have equipped right now? I can never remember which uh, icon is which. Okay. So let's get on the two that we're not, we don't have equipped at the moment. There we go. Also, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll keep the new hat on. I want to change up my clothing every once in a while. Anyways, how's the rice doing? I see weeds. I don't want, want my rice to be damaged at the very last second. We only have like a day to go. I don't want these weeds to hurt my rice. Why are there so many weeds? Did I put fertilizer in this morning? Pretty sure I did. Ooh, wait. Hold on a second. Our new hat just paid for itself. Did we get the skill I think we got? Yes, we did. So this skill is probably one of the most important skills. It lets us actually see the water temperature and the water level. Water is a little bit deep right now, actually. I kind of want it to be between 25 and 30 for this stage of the growth. Uh, so let's let out a little bit of water. Not too much, because like I said, it'll evaporate over time. But let's try to get it up or down to around... Hmm. You know, let me add a little bit more water. But yeah, pretty much for sprouting stage, I tend to keep it around 25 to 30 percent. Water is a bit cold, but it's usually always a bit cold. 
We can make the water temperature go up a bit by releasing water and make it go down by putting in more water, but yeah, 33% should be fine. Alright, so while we're waiting for the rice to grow, let's go have some dinner. I forgot that I sent Murte out gathering today. Right, let's go wait for Murte to come home so she can cook us dinner. I accidentally waited for zero hours, didn't I? One second, let's wait for two hours. Back. There she is. What'd you bring back? You brought back poop and beans. Okay. I mean, honestly, I won't ever say no to poop and or to uh, fertilizer ingredients. And beans are okay, I guess. I was honestly hoping she would bring back salt, but. Uh, we'll have to wait until a later area to get salt. Let's add a little bit more water. Oh wait, more weeds. Gotta get rid of the weeds as soon as possible. Otherwise they will damage the rice. Are we good? We are good, it looks like. Alright, let's go have some dinner. It should be done by the morning. Alright, so what do we want to have today? Not rice, because like I said, I want to conserve my rice. Broth, uh, rabbit. I guess we're going to be staying home for the most part tomorrow. So I guess it doesn't really matter what we eat. Time to eat. Yes, I do. Tomorrow's harvest day, so we don't really... Actually, no, I guess we'll still go out. You know, I'll figure it out later. Ah, well that's a diggish way of naming a place. You know what? That is a good idea. Probably don't want to live on a place called the Island of Demons. Well, welcome to Hanoi Island. It is kind of sweet that they're getting used to living here. It's home to them now. Very good. All right, so let's just rest until morning. Oh, I didn't. I guess we don't really need fertilizer. We're gonna be harvesting the rice soon. It's raining. Of course, it's raining. Why does it always rain on harvest day? You know what? That's fine. Uh, one second. I see some weeds that need to be picked. But yeah, the rice should be re ready relatively soon. Uh, I don't know if I want to harvest it during a rainy day, though. I forget if there's any penalty for... Kinto, what are you doing? This is fine. It is kind of sweet that Yui has a little crush on Kinta for some reason. I should go. Anyways, like I was saying, I didn't make any fertilizer, but that shouldn't be a problem since the rice is about to be ready. I don't know if there's a pe oh, it's ready. I don't know if there's a penalty for letting it grow longer than it has to. Ah, uh, do I harvest now? I guess there wouldn't be any harm in harvesting right now. Okay, before we harvest, though, there's one thing we need to do. We need to make sure we actually drain all the water out. Ah, uh, of course it has to, like, be ready on a rainy day. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if there's actually a penalty for not harvesting it right away. All I know is that we need to get it inside before winter, but it's currently summer right now, so we do have plenty of time. Ah, uh, you know what? Only one way to find out. The years have ripened. Shall I harvest them? Whoops. All right, so let's get everything cut. It's gonna take us a little while because this time we actually have plenty of uh, rice to go, or we have planted plenty of rice this time. So our yield should be pretty high compared to our first one, especially since we also have like those additional fields that we're growing rice in, technically. 
Unfortunately, we don't ever get to actually work those fields. They're just kind of automatically done by, like, all the humans around here. They're just kind of following exactly what we're doing on the main field. Which I guess is one way to give you extra fields to make rice in. Oh, nice! We're getting better at, uh, reaping. Yeah, this hand is actually paying off really quickly. Nice. We're getting plenty of skills out of it. This is good enough. <laughs> it's mine. All mine. All right, let's uh put it. Oh god, camera. Let's put it up to dry. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Rain stopped. Perfect. It's a little bit wet around here, but that's fine. Uh, is that all the rice? Oh no, we have one more. Is this okay? Alright, now we just kinda leave these out to dry and just wait. It's raining again. Of course it's raining again. Why is it always raining? Whoa, that was weird. Not sure if that showed up in the recording, but okay. Could be a freak out a little bit there. Alright, well, I guess I'll we'll just leave the rice to dry in the rain. How is it do- yeah, it's still soaked. You know what, it's fine. We have like three days to do this, so it'll dry eventually. It's Let's just have some dinner. Like I said, no, we're out of millet. Oh, I should have sent someone gathering today while I was working on the rice. Darn it, I keep forgetting to do that. You know what, let's celebrate with a little bit of rice. Why not? That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah... From what I understand, Murte's experience wasn't unusual for missionaries in Japan back then. Murte managed to stay positive in all of it, but yeah, from what I understand, that's not a completely inaccurate uh, depiction of how missionaries were treated. Okay, Murte, maybe don't talk about this during dinner. Is it still rain? It's still raining. Of course it's still raining. It's ra Oh wait, did I not leave the gate open? I didn't leave the gate open. Whoops. Let's uh, make sure this area stays drained. Alright, so how's the rice doing? Yeah. It's gonna have to dry for another few hours, pro or another day probably. Is the rain over yet? I think the rain stopped. Alright, so while that's drying... I guess we could go out for a bit. It should be done by the time we get back, so... Oh, let's also make sure we send someone out to gather. So let's see, new area, anything good? Revitalizing remedy, fallen leaves... Well, when in doubt, send Talmon. He's not really doing anything at home. I'll be off then. Alright, so while we're waiting for that, let's just go, like, gather for the day. Always good to get new materials. And by the time we get back, like, around early evening, hopefully by then the rice is dry, unless it starts raining again, in which case, the gods just hate me, apparently. Is it raining? 
I can't tell anymore. It's raining, great. You know what, let's go home. Actually, let me check the weather. I can't check the weather report. I sent Talmon out. Well, I guess we'll have to wait another day for the rice to dry. One second, let me check on the rice real quick. Is it still wet? It's still wet. Yeah, maybe when Talmon's back tomorrow, we'll check the weather again. I specifically planted early just so that we could have it ready by summer. I forgot that it rains a ton in this game. Uh, later on there will be ways around this, but right now we're kind of, you know, stuck with whatever weather we have. Alright, I guess while we're waiting, let's just rest for a few hours. Is Tom on back yet? Yep, there return. he is. Anything good? Oh, nice, you actually brought back some... Oh, you brought back a Masuke. Apparently those are super rare and expensive in real life. Nice. Well, we have food. Alright, let me check the weather real quick. Is it ever going to stop raining? Here we go. Okay, there's a 5%... There was a 25% chance of rain today and it rained. There's a 5% chance tomorrow, so we should be good. Keyword, should be. Alright, I guess we'll go to bed then. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Huh? Uh, no. Nay. I see. Well, apparently you is not doing her share of the work. Let's go talk to her. Actually, wait. Where is she right now? Uh, it's still early. She might still be at the sewing or the uh, the weaving hut. Nope, she's up for the day. Okay, I guess we'll have to talk to her tomorrow then. Let's just go have dinner for now. I think we're also running out of rice, so... I don't know what we're actually having for dinner tonight. Actually, Yui might be in her room right now. Also, yeah, the very first time I played this game, I did not realize that there are rooms back here. They're asleep already. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's asleep already. Guys, you haven't even had dinner yet. Sleep later. Eat something? Alright, what do we got here? Okay, we still have some rice. Yeah, I'm gonna save my rice, like I said. I'm not really gonna be going out tomorrow, because hopefully the rice will be done. So we're just gonna stay home for now. Also, is it me or is Yue just... Did her, com her like, way of speaking completely change in this cutscene? At least they're getting along, I guess. Okay, rain soft. Please let it stay soft. There's a 5% chance. Thank you. Is the rice ready yet? I think it is ready. Don't want to do it right now, though. Mm. Usually I like... I kind of want to wait until nighttime to do it, because it's better to, like, riper... What is it? Thresh and polish the rice at night when it's cool now. But if I do that, there's the risk of rain. Hmm. Do I just do it now? You know what? Screw it. I don't really care about the quality at this moment. Well, you know, there are so many other things we have to deal with. Let's just do it right now. Actually, I guess we can just wait for now. Yeah, you know what? Let's wait until evening to thresh the rice. Because, yeah, 
It's better to do it when it's cool now. Alright, in that case we might... Oh wait, no, before we wrap things up. Right. Yue. Yui. This looks really ominous out of context. Begging your pardon? <sighs> well, that was easy, easy to deal with. Hi, Kamaru. Oh, that reminds me, we should be sending Kaimaru out, because you do unlock new things by sending him out and about. So let's send him to a new area. Here, go to the forest for us, little <laughs> child. We literally sent the baby to the forest to gather stuff for us. This can, this can only end well. Alright, but for now, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, we're going to thresh our rice and get our second level. Well, yeah, I guess it is our second time leveling up. Hopefully we get some pretty good stats out of it. So, till next time. <laughs>